Here's how to create an order form or a uh, payment page on System.io. Welcome everyone and I hope you're all doing great and I will show you exactly that. Uh, and pretty much you will need only two things to get started. You will just need a System.io account obviously uh, and you will need a funnel. So to get started you will need to create a funnel or if you have one that would work. So to get started, uh, you will need to obviously first uh, go to settings and fill in your information in order to create a funnel. Otherwise, they're not going to allow you to. So do that real quick. And then afterwards, you will just need to go ahead and hover over funnels and click on it. In here, you will need to create a funnel. If you have one, you can you know skip ahead, but you will need to create a funnel. So let's just go ahead and create. And then we uh, customize the funnel to our uh, needs. So let's just name it um, example funnel. Uh, and let's go for sell. Uh, and in here, the currency, let's just uh, go ahead and make it. Uh, 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 uh. Let's see. Can I make it US dollar? There you go. Okay. So let's just keep it at US dollar and click on save. So now that we have a funnel, we can just go ahead and click on it. Uh, in here, we should find an uh, order form. It's this one right here. If you don't, you can, you know, let's just remove for the sake of, um, you know, maybe somebody doesn't have it. Uh, we just, uh, from here, after we click on our funnel, we will need to go ahead and click on add step. Uh, and then let's just name it um, payment page. And then type is going to be an order form. So if we just type an order form, we should find order form right here. Uh, it's very simple. So you just name it whatever you want, uh, either order form or payment page or whatever. Uh, and then you just go ahead and type and uh, find order form. From here, you just go ahead and click on save. So now we have thank you page. We've got payment page, which is which is the one that we have just created. Uh, and then the next step is going to be selecting a template. I'm just going to preview this one just for the sake of it. It's very simple and nice and it's like, yeah, let's just use this one. So like, you just go ahead, browse the, temp the templates that are available, preview it, and then you can just uh, go ahead and apply it. It's very simple. From here, you will need to uh, fill in some information here. You've got automation rules, um, A-B testing, uh, stats, and so on, but here, step uh, config. So let's just stick to this. So this is the URL path that you can change. You can name it uh, payment page if you want. Uh, I think I don't need to make a capital. There you go. Oh, sorry. Payment page. This should work. Make sure there's no capital uh, letters in there. Uh, and then uh, after the URL path, you can edit the page uh, and stuff. So we can add affiliate commissions uh, if that's what you want and also sales limit. But here, what are we going to do is we will need to make sure we select the uh, proper uh, type of product that we have. So whether it's going to be a physical product or a digital product. So if it's, let's start with the digital one. For the digital one, you will need to obviously link the digital product in here. So uh, if we just click on here, resources, select resources, what kind of uh, digital product is it going to be? Is it a go going to be a course? Uh, if it's the case of using a course, if somebody verifies the payment and actually pays for it, they will get a course. It's very simple. Uh, if it's course bundles, like the name says, uh, they will be getting after payment a bundle of courses that you um, uh, offer, basically. If it's tags, then they will get certain tags that you um, only allow for this payment. So they will be, have access to that. And then finally, if it's communities, then they will have access to a paid community that you have within System.io. So in that community, it's going to be only the people that have paid for the same thing. So uh, just go ahead and choose whichever one that you want. So let's just go for community, for example. And then we obviously choose a community. Uh, I have a community named example community. And we can just go ahead and save. 
So this is for the digital product. Uh, again, course, bundle course, or uh, tags and communities, just depending on which one there is. Now, pricing plans, the amount of frequency and uh, the payment, you will need to go ahead to the um, payment gateway settings and set things up to the payment methods uh, from there. So you will need to just, you can click on here and it's going to take you there where you, where you will need to set up obviously your Stripe or PayPal or uh, all of these uh, payment methods. So you can just set up any of them and it's going to work. Uh, so if we just go back to funnels, and we go to this one right here we go to payment page okay so in here uh this is going to be for the digital product uh for this physical product is going to be easier you just go ahead and select the product that you want to sell basically and you can also add coupons for both digital and um uh, physical you just go ahead and do the percentage type uh, discount type, uh, discount type, and then the coupon, uh, and it's just set up. For example, like offers and stuff, which is um, going to be useful later on if you want to use automations and stuff and have people uh, not leave. You can in, like entice them with a little bit of a more offer or make things a little bit uh, less uh, expensive for them. Now, after we are done setting this up, you can set uh, your sales limit, obviously here, you would know exactly what you want to do. And then we go to automation rules. So in the automations, you will be able to create automations based off of uh, specific triggers that could happen. So if you just click on add rule here, you should find three, the new sale. So when somebody actually makes a purchase, uh, that could be a trigger sale canceled which is the one that i was trying to talk about when i said you can you know throw in some incentive or offer uh, when somebody cancels a payment uh, or something like that uh, you will obviously do something or the uh, automations are going to do, basically be triggered right you can uh, add a offer to them something like that and then you can also do for page visited so when somebody actually visits a selected page you will uh, the automations are going to be triggered so let me show you an example if we just add rule and let's say sales uh, canceled so let's say somebody actually canceled the sale once you select it it should have a uh, check mark here you just click on the three dots uh, and then we just go ahead actually click on it and then add action from add action we will need to add a specific action you've got all of those things but most specifically, you would do send email and then you would just choose an email that would um, have an offer or something that would, you know, invite them back and just have them do that last push to actually purchase the thing. And then lastly, you just go back to step configuration and edit page where you'll be able to just edit the entire page for uh, the payment page, right? You can edit everything that you will need to do. It's a block based editing tool it's very easy you just click on whatever you want and you can edit uh, the text you can edit whatever you want so make sure you um, make this very suitable to what you you want from it and this is pretty much it this is how to um, uh, actually like create a payment page or a order form so it's very easy and simple i hope you liked this video and thanks for watching